The statistics say that 50% of the kids that leave foster care re-enter the system again through crime, alcohol, drug abuse, unwanted pregnancies, and the most daunting part is homelessness. Many of these foster girls have gone through very difficult, if not tragic, situations. They have learned oftentimes that adults can't be trusted, that even somebody who's supposed to nurture and care for you, such as your mom and dad, aren't there for you. Only you can change the faces of foster care. I was sexually abused for years. I was an addict, but I'm clean now. I still struggle not to become homeless. I was abused, rejected, went to so many foster homes. I'm still struggling. And I'm raising a child while working and going to school. I was abused by my foster father. I'm healing now. I was abused and placed in foster care when I was just seven years old. I was adopted and then given back. I was abused and neglected and abandoned, even abused in foster care. I don't know how I will support myself. I'm turning 18 and I'm really afraid of becoming homeless. As you see, the problems run deeper than just aging out, but footsteps to the future will give these girls hope. It's a program that tries to catch them before they fall and to offer guidance for young women who discover too late that they weren't really quite ready to take on the world. In 2001, I became keenly aware of the problems that young people have in the foster care system. And I realized that without some sort of a safety net that these young people would literally fall through the cracks. So I gathered with other women and we created a program to help mentor young women. That program grew into what is now known as Footsteps to the Future. The goal of Footsteps to the Future is to provide young women with the desperately needed nurturing, housing, and funding so that they can become self-sufficient leaders and role models in our community. One of the first programs offered by Footsteps to the Future paired foster girls with local women who mentor them on life skills. A mentor is essentially somebody who's going to be there for a younger person, in this case the foster girls, and kind of to lend support, answer questions, uh, show them that there's somebody out there who cares about you, cares about what you're going through, and um, wants to help you get through this phase in your life. The mentors are volunteers from the community, ladies that want to be of assistance to these young women. Um, for myself, I think about growing up, I didn't just rely on my parents, I relied on friends of my parents and teachers and counselors and every adult that I was involved with in any school activity. And these were people I looked up to that mirrored different possibilities for my life. So what would you got to, it's really a good idea to cut the end off so you have a, a real base. Uh, Desiree spent her entire childhood in foster and group homes. She left with no skills and little hope. I didn't have a job. I didn't really have any friends, so I just took whatever I could get. But thanks to the Footsteps program, she's learned how to cook and now works in a restaurant. As a business owner and as a mentor, uh, it was important for me to, to help them and guide them in the right direction so that they can be productive. He taught me basic restaurant skills, so now I can find a job in pretty much any restaurant. What classes do you have homework in, Brian? Uh, world history, but it's due after the weekend, so I had the weekend to do it. Sisters Bethany and Brittany are both under 18 and still living in their foster home. But even with a great foster mom like Kathy Crowley, Brittany still appreciates the time she gets to spend with her mentor, Mo Andrews. We met in the pool at Captiva on one of our uh, Footsteps to the Future um, meetings and outings, which we have once a year. It was this big blowout one, which we just had recently. Yeah, these mermaid mermaid. Stone rings. Oh yeah, here's a mermaid, high five, splashing oh, yeah. water. And she yeah. loves swimming, and that's how we connected. We both, we were like synchronized in the water, and we had just met. So that's how we met. It's more of a joyous um, friendship and companionship. It's just a lot of love, you know? It's uh, something special that way. Thank you. That is so cool. That is 
like a great poem making lemonade. But it's not just about mentoring. Those who age out need a safe and affordable place to live. Thanks to Footsteps, roommates Maria and Jenny now have a roof over their heads. It's called transitional living, but to them, it's home. We just started our first transitional living home, where we've negotiated an incredible lease for these young women. It's in a great neighborhood, and there are two young women, and one of the young women has a child. So the three of them lived together in a townhouse, and the first thing we had to do was teach them how to do a budget. And we're talking about a serious budget. Can we get that? Okay. And we worked out a budget, and then their task for the next month is to let us know where they've spent their money. We know that the landlord said they would cover basic cable, correct? Mm -hmm. it's, it's really nice. I like the house and my own place. I didn't even know what FPL was to begin with at first. <laughs> she said you have to make sure that you have to pay FPL the bill on time to keep your lights and turn on. I thought the lights were for free and water was for free and and when she told me like no you have to pay for this, you have to pay for that, it like just really brought me into reality like wow I am on my own now and not everything is free in life so I need help to figure everything out. Even the small things mean so much to the women, like sharing the chores, having a TV, or a car to get to work in. First time I got my car, I didn't know how to put gas there. For real, I didn't know how to put gas there. I got to ask someone, I asked someone to teach me how to put gas. But Maria and Jenny's townhouse is only part of the solution. Footsteps to the Future needs more transitional housing to help more girls. I'd like to see a place where these girls could go and they could gear up knowing that, you know, when they turn 16, they go visit it. When they when 17, they, okay, this is where I'm going to go. And, and so they can, you know, grow to that and be excited about, okay, I'm turning 18 and this is my next step in my life. And it's safe. It's not scary. It's not, oh, I turn 18 in a month and, and where am I going to go? Footsteps to the Future still needs your help. Government programs and agencies don't provide the funds and can't solve this problem. Only we can. We need you to get involved. I think the community at a whole needs to really step up and embrace these children because they are our future. And if we don't help them grow, then we're to fault. The investment you make today is for our entire community. By catching the girls before they fall, we're all creating better educated and contributing citizens. Through your investment in Footsteps to the Future, we can pay for transitional living units, automobiles, health care, education programs, and sponsorships. And in the end, it's all of us that reap the benefits. So please, help out today. Your time, your talent, or your treasure, and we need all of it. Footsteps to the Future has helped me so much more than foster care has. If this program was gone, there would be tons and tons, I think, more foster children out there who are lost and confused and don't know what to do. And that's the truth of it. It's one of those things where you really can make such a tremendous difference. It's as simple as success or failure, and you can be the difference. I mean, that one person with that one commitment can be the difference between a kid making it and a kid not making it. It takes a village to raise a child. So become a part of that village. Take the first step. Call Footsteps to the Future today. We'll make a difference. If you'd like to help support Footsteps to the Future with your time, donations, or even a simple word of support, please call or visit the website at footstepstothefuture.org.